today I'm gonna give you three easy steps on building an altar that you love and you honor and you're able to communicate to divine forces that hey this is the energy I want to put out Hello lovely souls, my name is Pizza. I create content that helps people manifest their best lives and be their highest selves. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a DIY, easy, meaningful, abundance attracting, vibration raising altar in your home or in your room in order to create a sacred space for yourself to put objects that you honor and objects that represent a high frequency high vibration to you so that you can attract more of that energy into your life right because the law of attraction means like attracts like so objects with like vibrations attract like vibrations so what an altar is is it's basically a place in your home that is sacred to you it doesn't have to be hard it just has to be filled with objects that are meaningful to you and represent a high vibrational frequency to you whether that's abundance love success any objects in your home that represent that to you, you put that kind of stuff on your altar because that's the energy you wanna put out so that you can bring it back in. If you have any questions, leave them down below and please give this video a like and feel free to <laughs> subscribe. That being said, look around your room or your house and find a nice place for your altar and let's get started. So step number one is to assess the objects in your reality right now that already vibrate at a high frequency for you. This can be your piggy bank, crystals, really high grades that you received, candles, pictures of people you love, cute stuffed animals. Get all of the objects in your reality right now that make you really happy. All of those sentimental objects you've been holding on to for a long time because you love them and they represent something to you, those are most likely high vibrational items. Step number two, take those objects and place them on your altar with an intention of what you want them each to represent for your manifestation. For example, if you're looking to attract more abundance in your life, put a piggy bank there or some money on your altar as well. If you're looking to attract love, put a picture of someone in your life that you know has a healthy, loving relationship on your altar. Put a crystal that represents happiness to you. If you're looking to attract affirmations and a feeling and a state of being write down little affirmations and put them on your altar I personally use these little papers I get out of fortune cookies that say really nice things to me I love them a lot and they're really simple to have if you're looking to attract being more in tune with nature and in tune with your divine nature put some flowers you find outside if you're looking to attract more strength maybe get some rocks from outside and put them on your altar as well the point is everything you place on your altar should have an intention of what you are trying to manifest. Step number three, respect your altar and understand that your altar is always subject to change. Because you are doing such a powerful thing by putting these objects on an altar and honoring them and telling God, hey, this is the vibration that I want to attract. You are most likely going to manifest things much faster into your life. That being said, your altar will change. Maybe if you're trying to uh, manifest getting into a certain school and you put an acceptance letter and then you get accepted into that school, it's time to manifest something new. And some things will stay the same. You'll most likely always want love and abundance in your life. However, objects that represent love and abundance in your life may change as well. So when those objects change, put them on your altar. Second thing is respect your altar. This is a sacred space that you are sharing with God, that you're using these objects to say, hey, I really like the energy this object gives off. I really wanna attract this energy into my reality. So don't be putting trash on your altar. Don't put anything that has nothing to do with what you are trying to manifest. Like don't use your altar as another surface to put things on. Respect your altar, respect it. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed my video on how to do a DIY altar. It's really easy, really cheap to make. You don't really have to buy anything unless you wanna buy like crystals or sage or palo santo or other high vibrational frequency objects. I actually made a video on seven high vibrational frequency objects that I would suggest you have on your altar. I'll link it down below. I love you so, so much. Thank you for watching my content. All of my content 
information will be down below if you'd like to get in touch and please comment any video suggestions you might have any content you'd like to see from me and like this video and subscribe thank you so much for being on my journey with me i love you all so much bye